Steve Fogelman from TennisAtlantic.com here on beautiful Daniel Island for another installment of the Family Circle Cup. Today is All Access Media Hour, meaning that you'll get to hear from all eight seeds, including late entrant Jeannie Bouchard, who received a wild card. You'll also hear from Ekaterina Makarova and 2014 defending champion here, Andrea Petkovic, among others. Now, who you won't hear from today are Serena or Venus Williams, because for the first time in recent memory, they have skipped this event, which lends ourselves to the question of the future. What will American tennis tournaments, WTA tournaments, be like once they retire, these very accomplished players? Well, based on the crowds, based on the fans here in Charleston, I can tell you that I think American tennis will be fine. There are a number of rising young stars, both in the United States and internationally, that are going to carry this game for the fans. So look forward to hearing from your top seeds. You've had a lot of big changes over the last year between your coach and even your agency. Um, are you in the zone now? <laughs> it's true. I have had a lot of changes, and I think you almost have to expect sometimes that things maybe will get uh, not worse, but you know you'll have maybe a bit of a down before you have an up, especially with a coaching change. And uh, I feel like maybe that's what happened a little bit. You know, it's, change is hard. You have to adapt and uh, get used to new things, and you kind of get thrown out of your routine, and maybe you're put also more in an uncomfortable position. And but that's what I wanted. You know, I wanted to try wanted something new to try take me to another level. So um, I'm very happy that I made it. But um, I'm liking the, I'm liking the changes I did. Now I just need to uh, just keep going with it, and I know it'll get better. All right, and you took a little spill in practice yesterday. Everything's fine? <laughs> yes, I did. It was a bit more of a scare than anything else, you know. I think as an athlete, you always freak out if, if something happens, especially kind of a traumatic event like on the court if you, if you fall a little bit or something. But uh, I, I'm fine for now. Thank you. <laughs> Angli, just want to ask you um, if you notice all of the German-American fans come out to root for you because the Polish-American crowd is very tight, but German-Americans not so much, but they seem to unite for you. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I I heard the crowd always when I'm on court, and uh, to have the support from all the fans over the world, it's it's amazing, and uh, it's feeling good on court and also off court. Uh, I mean, the fans are so nice in America and everywhere I am, so they are supporting me always, and it's it's great to have fans like that. Right. And uh, we know you're always excited to play in the United States. Um, are you looking forward to the summer? Of course. I mean, I like to coming back here to to United States because it's always nice to be here. The weather is always perfect. So um, I'm really looking forward to the summer to coming back. <laughs> but before that, there's clay. Are you ready for the clay season? I am ready for clay. I mean, I played all, already a few, few days on clay and it's always nice to change the surface uh, because it's another it's another match, it's another game, so uh, you should be ready for like a few, three um, yeah, more shots to play and uh, to have, of course, a little bit more patience on clay. Andrea Petkovic, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Just want to ask you about your preparedness for the clay court season. Well, um, I, I just come straight off the semis in, in Miami, so I haven't had a lot of time. I only had two practice days on clay. But then again, you know, I've just, um, clay is my favorite surface and I feel pretty quickly very comfortable on clay. So uh, I don't know how Charleston will go as I hadn't have a, a lot of practice days on clays, but uh, I definitely will be, will be ready for the upcoming tournament on, on clay. All right, and then finally, um, your father played 100 miles from here in Colombia. So how special is it for both of you for you to be here? Well, definitely very special. And I think he we have a car here, and um, I um, he wants to take one day, my, one of my off days, where I don't have to play a match, and he wants to go back there. And I'm sure it's going to bring a lot of nice emotions and memories back. And I wish I could go with him. It just depends on my schedule here, and then we'll see what happens. Good. Okay, Sarah, Irani, um, thank you for joining us. Uh, you retweeted a couple of photos that uh, our website had put out on Twitter and blew up our phone. So tell us about your many, many fans out there on social media. Yeah, um, I have fun with them. I mean, there are a lot of good people and fans supporting me, so it's nice to have them when I'm, you, you go around the world to play matches. Right, and I've seen you practice very hard out there all weekend. Are you ready for clay season? 
Yeah, I hope so. I mean, uh, here it will be tough. It's not easy to play on this surface, but I'm really happy to start the clay season. Caroline Garcia, um, how do you deal with the pressure ever put on you ever since you were young uh, to be a future French champion? Uh, when I was very young, I was not especially be to a future star, so I was quite quiet by myself, but now since a couple of years it's it has been more pressure but you have to deal with it and sometimes it's difficult and sometimes it's better but you just have to be focused on yourself and listen your close team to to be better every day all right and are you ready for the clay is that exciting to you oh, yeah, i am very excited to be back on clay and uh, i have uh, good memories from last year so i will try to to keep working on it and uh, i will know that there is sometimes it's difficult but you have to keep going and be better every day Bon chance, merci. <laughs> On the practice court, you're probably the most uh, impressive and entertaining person to watch practice. Do you even consider it practice? Um, you know, uh, first of all, I play the game. It, 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 I look at it as a game. It's uh, yes, it's my job, but at the same time, it's, it's just a game. So I, it's important for me to enjoy and ha have fun. You know, running off the balls and just hitting and and competing. And if you stress out too much then it's not good as well you have to last you know and i'm i'm 30 years old now so i kind of have different perspectives and uh different you know outlook on, on everything so i just enjoy myself out there and it's important for for me for my you know personality and finally you are ready for the clay season I am very ready. I, I love playing on clay. Um, I love playing here in general in Charleston. I've done well in the past. Um, so hopefully I can have another great run this year. Let me ask you a little loaded question. Are you where you thought you would be or are you even in a little bit better place? Do I have to answer a question when you state it as it's a loaded question? <laughs> I feel like you're setting me up for a terrible answer. Loaded. It wasn't loaded. Okay. Okay. I was a little nervous when you started that question. Oh my god. Um, Don't scare us. Yeah. No, I'm nervous now. Um, you know, I definitely did not think that I was going to be in the semifinals this year in Australia. Obviously, I go into a tournament wanting to do that every week, but it's, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. So I'm definitely happy where I am and happy with the success that I've had, but I um, want to just keep getting better and better and, you know, to where a semifinal Grand Slam is kind of routine.